We get a lot of people visiting from out of town, as well as a lot of people who live in the city of Chicago and the suburbs that frequent us very often. The Blue Crab Lounge is more of a casual uh, 1940s theme lounge, whereas the dining room still has that 40s theme, but is a more formal white tablecloth sit-down full service set. I'm responsible for buying all the seafood, fresh seafood for the restaurant. Most of my fish is day-caught fish, where they go out, they catch the fish, they come right back in. I make a call to one of my fishermen that are catching the fish for me. I tell them how much I'm looking for, and have them put it on the airplane and send it to me. Right now, my fish cutter, he's cutting uh, Pacific halibut. We bring in swordfish, we bring in yellowfin tuna. We never bring in a frozen fish. All the different species of fish will have different textures and flakes and flavors to them. Some you add a little bit more seasoning to them to bring out the flavor. And I personally make it an effort on my part to educate our staff so that they know what they're talking about when they come to the table. So if a guest comes in, they know they're gonna get the best seafood in town. You know, a great service, a wonderful atmosphere and you know, just a great dining experience. Terry, Shaw's has 500 seats and it's constantly, I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone can go in there and not have it be really crowded. I have loved Shaw's uh, for years. I, I lived for, for a short spell of my life. I lived on the East Coast uh, near Baltimore, which I think has some of the best, if not the best seafood. I think Shaw's is probably the closest that we have here to uh, an East Coast or, or even like a West Coast fish place. You know, when I went there, uh, that was one thing that had got my attention though. It was just really comfortable. You could tell that <laughs> a lot of people go there uh, as regulars, you know, right. they're having fun and in the area on the bar is a great place for, it gave my, the impression to me that it's a great place for going there for, with friends and everything. The thing that you like to do. Kind of like you want to say, you know? That's now, Andy, you're from the, the East Coast as well. Yeah, a bloke like I think like you him. had a little bit of a different experience than, than Terry yeah. had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terry, I like you, but I grew up in the East Coast. I grew up in Long Island Sound, and I've just, I'm just a spoiled brat with seafood. Mm -hmm. And um, on top of that, I, I, I'm always offended when there's no seafaring devices or hulls of ships or ship's wheels or anything like netting or anything like that to decor mm -hmm. a seafood restaurant. Like You mean like Arthur Treacher's or something yeah. like that? <laughs> I mean, it's it, to, to me, it's never been a fine dining experience. It's always been like, I'm going to walk right off the beach and go get me a mm -hmm. stuffed clam or anything like that. Yeah, Although, I do have a newfound love for frog legs. First time mm -hmm. I had it. Oh, yes. that sounds nice. That was, what's interesting uh, to me about what you just said is that a lot of times people will come in from out of town and you'll take them there, especially if they're from the East Coast. Or, or like some kind of seaside resort area, and they don't think it's as great as Chicagoans think it is, yeah. which I find very interesting with, with what you said there. But yeah, it, it just, the food didn't really have the flavor that I was mm. expecting. And was it more the stuff. seasoning of, of the fish or the, the actual flavor of the fish itself that, that didn't taste well, they didn't, um, as good Yeah, it didn't, I, I think the fact that it wasn't seasoned, I mean, I mm. had, I had mm. uh, grilled salmon steaks or whatever, mm. and um, it just, it was really kind of bland. Mm -hmm. uh, and the hot combo appetizer, the popcorn shrimp and the calamari, you know, I've honestly had better at Red Lobster and I don't oh, want to wow. say that. I don't want people to beat me up in the middle of the night, but seriously, and I've only been How to Red Lobster you? once. Gloria looks like she's going to beat <laughs> yeah. you up right How now. She's going to kick me. No, 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 to tell you the truth, um, the plate that I had, uh, it was the same situation with you. It didn't have too much of a flavor. It was a swordfish, mm -hmm. and it, it came, uh, the company was, um, guacamole with corn in it and with strips mm. of uh, chips on top of it, taco chips, whatever. Mm. And to me, it was not really complimentary at all. So, mm -hmm. right. you know, I think I would have liked a little bit of a different flavor, a little bit more spice to yeah. it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I like the, I like the, uh, you talk yeah. appetizers. My favorite ap appetizer there is uh, crab cakes. Uh, I love the crab cakes. The uh, crab fingers, which are the claws, the meaty part where you don't have to like really mess with it. Yeah. but. How did you feel about the ambiance of the place? I think there's nothing cooler than sitting in the middle of that place and there's the chatter that's going on. You hear the, uh, you know, the clanking of the everyone with the right. Everything just seems like it's such a busy place, a good place yeah. to be seen, a good place to see people. Did well, you like that part of it? I mean, that was that was great. And, um, and I realized there's no guy in a sailor suit yeah, walking around yeah, and, you know, some a, guy with a big fish throwing it around. There was here. some rusty scupper guy just walking <laughs> in. 
throw in some barnacle encrusted <laughs> something or other on my plate, I'd feel a lot better. Only because that's where I came, that's how I grew up, that's where I came mm -hmm. from. So, but I mean, if, you know, the consensus of Chicago and all the tourists, if, you know, I mean, 500 people can't be wrong, you know, so, right. I mean, this place might be for somebody else, but, uh, yeah, it's the third highest yeah. grossing uh, restaurant in the city. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really want to say that the wait staff, it was the best service I've ever had ever. Mm -hmm. And I just, I loved it. They told me a, a story where they have um, farmers in Alaska that, that uh, get them oysters, mm -hmm. but there's no phones or anything. They have to have someone Amazing. come and airdrop the yeah. oysters. Yeah. So they are very committed to finding things that are really fresh and in season. And right. And that makes a whole difference, you know, when you have a, a nice, not only the presentation, but the flavor, the food or whatever. Mm -hmm. But to me, it struck me as a place where a lot of business people went. Yeah. A lot of tourists, a lot of business but people. more business people, and, right. Uh, I have to give you one tip, though. When you go in there, if it's too crowded, I know you won't be back, of course, but if you go, <laughs> if you go in there and it's too crowded, go to the Blue Crab Lounge uh, next door because you, sometimes you'll wait an hour, hour and a half for a table. They have the exact same menu next door and it's more of, actually it's probably more of a casual place that, yeah, that you would like. originally where we wanted to sit, mm -hmm. but. Is Terry going to get you to go back? Is he going to? If I can go with Terry, Sway your yeah. Opinion? I have to hang out with Terry, yeah. Um, and I would have the frog legs again. There you yeah, go. I'm Terry, inviting you. Alrighty. This is your favorite place. Give us a sum of it. So I think the food is good. The ambiance. The ambiance, it's a great room to be in. It's a great place to people watch. And uh, you know, it's, it's really a, a great place to kill some time. The, the staff is great. And Gloria, what about you? I will go there um, if a friend of mine invited me. I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind You're to invited, go there. Baby. Hello, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will personally not choose it as a first choice, uh, but I will not have a problem going there if someone invites me at all. You know? And Andy, what about you? Um, well, I mean, if you're a spoiled brat purist <laughs> like me, I don't really recommend it. But then again, I haven't been to too many seafood restaurants in Chicago for this same reason. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be back unless, you know, I'm going with these guys. Hey, you know, know what? Yeah, we can Let's do it. Yeah. What experience. are we doing after the show? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll find these three all together at Shaw's Crab House at 21 East Hubbard Street, 312-527. 2722. You can ask for Terry's table when you go there. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch and dinner, seven days a week, and the average tab is about $30 to $40 a person without drinks, and reservations are recommended.